Climate resilience is the ability of systems, people, organizations, their ability to absorb and recover from climate shocks and maintain uh, particular functions that they might be doing. For example, water security, uh, food security, energy security, it could be many things. It might mean that people are bouncing back, they are building back better after a climate event. A state of being that you get to when you've taken a whole range of adaptation actions and you can actually cope with and thrive, I suppose, under a different climate as well. It's really about how we cope with the challenges of climate change, how we exploit any benefits that come with climate change. It's also about when we do suffer impacts, how we recover from them. The country needs to prepare for some of the unavoidable impacts of climate change. We're already committed to a certain amount of climate change simply because of past emissions. Personally, for me, climate resilience is all about ensuring our, our people and places are adapting and prepared for our changing climate. You have to work closely with communities to make sure that you really understand what's going on in that place and what's important. Climate resilience is about providing those stakeholders and individuals with information that they need to make informed decisions about the future. As part of a major project under the Community Action for Water, we went to Bilton Community Primary School and the kids would show us how they store water to reduce the flow of water into the combined water system which prevents flooding in the end. I've really been thinking about roles and responsibilities in terms of uh, resilience and adaptation. My performance, who you're going to call, tries to explore that by using a single performer, me, as the sort of isolated figure, uh, and then tries to get the audience involved in taking some responsibility too. It's designed to work in a theatre space or in an office setting. I hope the audience will come away with an awareness that more needs to be done everybody has a part to play. Communities have a different way of understanding climate resilience as compared to the way the government understands them. So it's important to find a common ground between the two and work together. We need to work together on climate change because it's the biggest challenge that the human race has ever faced. Everybody needs to be pitching in whatever their skill set, wherever our circle of influence is. There's still a lot of work that needs to be done in understanding what climate risk looks like across a whole range of different sectors, but also in trying to make that wealth of information and knowledge that we've got decision relevant to a variety of different practitioners. We need people to take climate action themselves. We also need to empower and work with communities in order to involve them in decision making and help make the best possible decisions, take the best possible climate action for our future together. The future of climate resilience lies in us. Uh, it's important to learn about how every person is affected and how they feel the impacts and how we can deal with those impacts on a community basis as a group.